What's going on, everybody? It's been a while for some videos, hasn't it been? Uh, a lot's been going on. I'll probably try to hit that maybe during a live or uh, another video coming up. Yes, I did say a live. I think we're going to do some lives coming up. Been busy a lot with PSA. Uh, a lot of stuff came in. Have to go through boxes, sort, value, grade, com C, etc., etc. So very, very busy um, with sports cards right now. So I haven't really been... I've been keeping up with some of the current news. Just not a lot of time to really do the videos. But I wanted to share some PSA with you guys. And there'll be this video and there'll be another one coming out the following day. That has three cards in it. was like... Bam. That's all I got to say. Bam. All right. We're going to do the old uh, hide the grades. So let me get the camera just a little bit better here because I know I bumped it earlier when I was doing a little bit of work with other stuff. And I got a, I got top loaders laying here. I'm just a mess. A mess. All righty here. Up first, this is a little UFC. I had to throw some extra cards in in order to get the special onto this stuff. So I have no idea if Fiziev, Pink Velocity, was any good. But he came back a 9. And it's a mixture of sports, believe it or not, too, today. Let me just go like that with the camera. So that way I can kind of get focus and everything back. Or at least I thought I was. Come on. Brand new camera, too. Don't want to focus. Alrighty here. Up next, another one from Optic. This one is... Yep, not even going to try to pronounce it. I think I have an auto of him somewhere. Black Velocity. I believe it was out of 25, 35. I'll look here in a minute, but came back PSA 10. Oh, out of 39. 39. Up next... These are very hard to grade, the 90 Opeaches. I had about, I don't know, 10, 15 of them. And I took the two best. Centering, edges, all that. Wayne Gretzky, card number one, of course, says number one. Little Indianapolis Press, nine. Up next, Mario Lemieux. Same year, same thing. Looks really good centered. Seven. I have no idea. I could not figure it out. The corners look good. I thought maybe they dropped one, maybe picked it up. I have no idea. That's one of the ones where I just scratched my head. This was a really cool card. From my understanding, I think there was only one PSA 10 of this card. 2001 Pacific Ornaments Derek Jeter die cut like a Christmas sock. Really cool looking. Look at that. I was hoping for an eight. I really, really was. I over exceeded it with a nine. A, the PSA 10 that I found sold for like $350. There's not many nines out there, this card either. So I'm not too sure where I'll price at. But very, very happy because, like I said, when you start looking at pop counts and stuff, again, you got to find the right person to sell it to and all that. But very, very happy with an older die cut like that, especially with a lot of the whitings on to those cards. Up next, 2022 Bowman's Best Donk Kong. Donkin? I don't know. Green, numbered out 99 auto. Merk, merk, merk. Another nine. Well, eight. Well, I'm not gonna lie. When I first saw these grades, I was like, "You gotta be kidding me!" Until we get better eventually through here. There are no specific order either. 1996. Once it shows, I had to look at myself. 96. Come on, come on, camera. Brand new. You're like two hundred dollars. Can't even focus. There we go. Barry Bonds power booster. Cool subset. Was hoping for the 9, maybe a 10, came back an 8. That's another wah, wah, wah. 96 Bazooka Jeter. Pretty cool card. I mean, it had some upside. I think a lot more people graded these since I did mine. But a 10. Up 
Up next, 2014 update gold. I believe this was, yeah, rookie. Jacob deGrom. Looked really good. Thought it would be a good solid nine. Again, I was wrong. Eight. And yeah, I know somebody's going to ask where these come out. New Jersey. New Jersey. There comes my stack of fun. I was hoping to do better on these. These are all Jordans. 92 tops. Again, I took the best one out of the stack to send in first. Came back a nine. Still some money on to it. I mean, I'm not in these cards for a whole lot of money, so it was all either break even, possibly bust, or possibly make money. 92 upper deck, this is the correct um, version of it. Another nine. This here was interesting. I found this at a show. 94 Collector's Choice Sean Kemp Gold Signature. None have graded higher than this grade. So basically there's no 10s. I got a 9. No idea really what it's worth, but it looked really good. Took a stab at it. 99 Upper Deck Jordan Athlete of Century. Really cool looking card. 9 as well. Told you stuff will start getting better here in a second. 2002 Fleer Authentics, Michael Jordan. These are those ticket stubs. Very hard to get 10s on this, but we squeaked it. 10. I want to say the last one, this did like 130-ish. Wizards uniform. So really happy with that grade there. Um, again, that was like out of somebody's $2 box. So, again, when you could find stuff like that, mail it all in, hopefully get some stuff at stick, boom. This is another card I picked up at somebody's value box. Two or three dollars it was. I don't have the spreadsheet in front of me, but I know it was under five and more than two. So it's either two or three. 2000, I can't read without a camera. Eight, SP Authentic Russell Westbrook Rookie. These are not a high populated count either card. But it's a PSA tan. Another card goes for like a hundred bucks. So, like I said, there's a lot of risk and reward with what I did here. Um, luckily, <laughs> I, I did get rewarded with what a lot of this stuff will sell for. Um, taking advantage of the special and everything. Up next, you'll see four of these coming up. Ninety-one Pro Set Rookie Spanish, Brett Favre. Let me tell you about these. There's whiting hiding everywhere on them. There was, I'm going to probably quote eight to ten of these in the box. I took the four best. First one, ten. Very low pop count. These sell around 150-ish, the last I looked. I think they're like a hundred and something pop, maybe? I can't remember now. Same card again. I won't show the whole thing, but we'll just go to the grade. This one came back a nine. Those are like a $20 card, so it's like a break-even. Next one, got me an 8. And now for the fourth one. Can we just go in order down to 7? That'd be kind of bad, huh? Let me just get the focus here back. I'm sure Wildcat's liking this stuff. One more 10. I think I, what I did is I paid like almost half of what they were going for ross around five dollars a card so definitely money to be made there this here i just had to get done <laughs> 91 spanish from pro set fleece is i thought i was supposed to say fleece navi does but i was completely wrong these here very low pop kind i want to say psa 10s are in the high 20s and we added one to it it's a hundred dollar card pretty cool huh this here I bought in that bulk lot to show. Uh, I think you guys will probably remember it with another card that will be in the next video. But it was the Neymar Auto I bought along with this and a bunch of other cards. As a matter of fact, all those Jordans that were in there uh, came from that guy too. Seven. Exactly where we wanted to be at. What I thought would be for the grade. So, with what I paid for integrating after fees and all that stuff, I'll make like $10, $20 on the card. It was nothing big, but I just wanted to get it slabbed. Uh, up next, Tyler Algier checkerboard. 
black and red. Nine. I don't need they hammered me on a lot of this stuff. And finally, one last hockey to end it with. Again, like I said, it was no order. 91, Opeachy Premier. I believe this was Yager's rookie year. Very hard tens on some of this stuff. Came back a 10. Probably like a $40 card. So again, make 5, 10 bucks onto it. Nothing big. But with a low pop count, you know, never know who's going to be out there looking for it. So again, I probably raw. I'm going to guess. I know somebody will probably ask. Well, with the Brady, I'd probably raw. I'll say raw 250 and it cost me. I don't know what this was. Around 400 to grade, so $600 roughly. So basically, the Brady, that Westbrook, and we'll say two of the um, Spanish pro sets roughly would probably put me in the ballpark of what I paid into it. So, like this Jordan and everything else is all just complete profit, which Again, in the long term, pretty good overall. We'll see how some of this stuff does on various platforms. But yeah, grading... Uh, actually, grading would have been a little bit... No, because I forgot. They upped their shipping PSA. I forgot about this. Their UPS used to be like $20-some dollars. It's 42 That's what it was. I, it was probably just under 400 for it all, but I just rounded it all up. But again, not bad overall. Very happy with the order. Some of this stuff, yes, I know. Disappointed myself and how it went. But we'll see how it all prices out, what we can get back onto. It should be a profit, probably. When I did it rough in my head after, depending on what platform I sell it on with fees and everything, it's probably around $300 profit. A um, lot of time into it, but profit is profit in my book at the end of the year. It all adds up. All right, guys, that's it for this video. When do you see the next one? I'm telling you, it's a good one.